So in today's video, I will be feeding a few colonies of roaches of mine that are very hungry right now. And just right here, I have some apples and carrots and a few of their other favorite foods that they seem to really like. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. Before we begin, go down below and click the like and subscribe button if you wanna see more of my awesome videos. And as always, if you're new here, I post lots of videos on various inverts, like roaches and isopods and many other things. So the first colony we will be feeding um, today is one of my personal favorites, my Elliptorina javanica, also known as the Halloween hissing cockroach. These guys are from Madagascar, and the last time I uploaded these guys up onto my channel, they weren't as large of a colony, and since then they have grown to be a very monstrously large colony. So of course, first things we'll do, we'll just drop in some of their food. Right here, we'll drop in these two large apple chunks. And I always give them a generous amount of protein since you guys is like that. And then I also, of course, give them some fish flakes over here. Also drop some in their smaller dish right there. Guys are a very active species and uh, they are very alert and there's already nymphs running up on the sides to claim whatever dog food they can find even on this side too and like I said these guys have grown to be a fairly large colony Let's see if I can just show you under here there's just lots and lots of adults lots of various size nymphs and that's just one bark flip I mean I've got tons and tons all throughout this entire enclosure everywhere now as time goes on there's just slowly more and more appearing here's a decently large adult male that's popping up that has some pretty cool looking reds on him and these guys really love their fish flakes you can see that male he was fighting off that little nymph right there and there's the, the first nymph that's rushing to get some fish flakes while he can. Like I said, these guys are a very active species for me. Very um, alert when it comes to feeding responses and stuff. I mean, just look at this. There's nymphs everywhere fighting for dog food. Here's a second adult male popping in the side of this frame. And now there's an adult female popping in. So very interesting species. These guys are doing really well for me, as you can tell. They've just exploded in the past like three months in numbers. They're just nonstop breeding and producing nymphs and stuff. can actually hear a little bit of the adult male right here chowing down. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna give these nymphs on the side just a few pieces to chow on since they're all fighting a over it. Normally within just a few hours, most if not all of this food is just entirely gone except the dog food since it's a bit harder and takes a bit longer just to chew through and stuff. But the apples and fish likes will be gone within just five hours or so. So it looks like the other smaller nymphs now are going crazy and fighting for it. There's even some roaches that are camping out underneath their feeding dish and even just taking the dog food away from the other nymphs and stuff. It's, it's really entertaining once you have a large enough colony of these guys to watch some of the things that just go on in the enclosures. And there's tons more and stuff hiding out between the bark and stuff. I mean, here's a few more back here. This colony is getting decently large.
But yeah, I think I'm gonna put their enclosure lid back on and call it good for these guys and let them finish their meal for the night. So next up right here we have another one of my favorite colonies and this is one of my newer ones that i just got in my last video my neo style opiga rhombifolia now the last video i uploaded with these guys most of the ones i received from tj were still just nymphs but these guys have now since most of them have matured into adults and stuff and I'm gonna give these guys a good amount of fish flakes this time since the last time I did give them some dog food. Can already see their antennas popping out and they're already running up to get some of their food right away. And these guys really love fish flakes. Very protein hungry roach species. Now within just a few minutes there's already around four adults out and about getting their food. And so far these guys have been doing really great for me. The real um, key to keeping these guys is keeping them very humid. Now while their enclosure looks very dry, um, I have been keeping them very humid in the air when it comes to moisture and stuff and I give them um, sprays across the side of their enclosure and spray this one corner and that seems to help keep the humidity pretty high. I do have to say these guys are a much more finicky roach when it comes to getting photos or recordings of them since as you can see there there's already a nymph just running away. Now that dude's running away. Whenever I try to get any good photos or record them they always seem to run away really quickly and then soon return just like this dude starting to pop out right there and you can also see a lot of them moving their antennas underneath the bark and in the side of the toilet paper rolls and stuff and these guys' patterns are just really beautiful and very interesting looking and this one right here just doing the splits right now <laughs> Another thing that's also really interesting about the adults is that um, compared to nymphs, the nymphs do not have these little vestigial wings right below their um, pronotum or their head. You can see the two little things coming down from their head. Those are the vestigial wings. They're wings that they don't use for anything. They're just there to be there, but it's just something interesting to point out in a species like this. So, so far with all of the new keepers of Neostylopiger on my folia, this uh, strain seems to be really a lot more easier and less finicky than the old um, strain being sold around. Because apparently they used to have pretty easily die-offs and also um, harder ooths to uh, incubate. But so far with these guys, for me, they've been really easy and stuff very easy going and a lot of other people who have had this species the chinese hobby stock strain so far have also said the same thing as me another thing i just really wanted to point out in my colony was that they have already started producing tons of ooths and this species they produce their ooths and they kind of hold on to them and then they drop them around the enclosure so like right here you can see one right there can also see another one just past it. There's also another one in this corner, so they're producing ooths like crazy. And if I just carefully check under here, there's uh, a few more ooths around. And here is actually an adult female right here that you can see is holding on to one of those ooths. And she will later, when she is ready, she will drop it around the enclosure. And right here, there's four of them right there. And another cool thing that this species does with its ooths, it will glue them down into egg carton like this. There's another one that is glued down. 
and then even a third one right there. So these guys so far have been very great with producing ooths for me. There's probably at least more than 20 ooths by now in just the first few weeks of adults maturing and stuff. So just like I said, these guys are a very more finicky species when it comes to recording and we'll try to get another recording. These guys all scurried off. So I think I'm going to call it good with this colony and put on their lid and let them finish their food for tonight as well. So that's all I have for today, everyone. But please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see some more roach videos like this. So with that, I'll see you all in the next video.